Let's get you up to date on our breaking story. We're following the crash of Virgin Galactic's Spaceship 2 in California's Mojave Desert. Desert. At least one pilot is dead. Another one has been seriously hurt. And you're looking at what's left of that spaceship in the Mojave Desert. Let's go now to Leroy Chiao. He's a former NASA astronaut. Leroy, what do you think went wrong here? Well, this was a, a test development program of a new vehicle and a new propulsion system. And unfortunately, whenever you're in the in the development phase of something like this, uh, the risks are higher, just like they are for any high-performance aircraft program. And unfortunately, mishaps like this do occur. Uh, we really don't know. It's way too early to know exactly what happened. I've read the news reports that say eyewitnesses say that shortly after um, an engine ignition, the, an explosion happened, which which uh, tore the vehicle apart. Uh, that would indicate that maybe it uh, it will you know it was a problem with the engine. Uh, certainly, I think the accident investigation board will will uh, look at that piece of uh, information first. Uh, but at this point, too early to know for sure. Leroy, what about the debris field? in the Mojave Desert. Will that offer any significant clues? Oh, absolutely. And, uh, um, you know, if, if the debris field, I mean, the, the, the investigators will be collecting all the debris they can to try to piece together exactly what went wrong. But, you know, the size of the debris field is going gonna, is gonna to be telling. Uh, I understand the vehicle broke apart somewhere up uh, around 50,000 feet. So uh, if it stayed mostly together, uh, in other words, if the debris field is small, and that means that the vehicle stayed together most of, most of the way down, uh, if the debris field is very wide, that would indicate um, a more catastrophic failure if, if the pieces are, are spread farther apart. And for the two pilots on board in a situation like that, do they have access to a parachute to jump down? My understanding is that the test pilots on board uh, were wearing parachutes, uh, which would be normal during a development program like this, during a flight test. Uh, but uh, they did not have the, I don't believe they had ejection seats like you would have on a, on a military uh, fighter aircraft or something like that. So, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, if that's the case, it's uh, a bit of a uh, pretty, uh, pretty amazing that one, at least one person seems to have been able to parachute out. What do you think this will do to the future of space tourism, as Richard Branson apparently wants to do? Well, in, in the long term, I don't think it'll have a too big of an effect, as I said, during a development program of a new vehicle and a new motor. Uh, you, you've gonna, you're going to expect that uh, you, mo you have a higher risk of an accident like this. But, of course, it's a much bigger impact to Virgin Galactic. Um, you know, this is going to set them back some. They were hoping to get FAA certification uh, relatively soon. Uh, once there's an accident, of course, all that goes on hold until the accident investigation is complete. Uh, they figure out the root cause and are able to apply all the lessons learned so that it doesn't happen again. So uh, too early to speculate how long of a delay that's going to be, but uh, there will no doubt be a delay. And Leroy, as you know, there was another mishap with that unmanned rocket off the coast of Virginia Tuesday. Are, are you worried at all about the future of space program? No, as I said, in the long term, I don't think it will it will have an effect. It's just it's unfortunate that we had uh, either mishap, but the fact that they occurred so close together within a week, um, you know, it's kind of a double whammy, just as a an, an impact on on uh, impressions. And so, um, yeah, in the short term, for both of those companies, uh, pretty significant setbacks. Uh, but for the industry in the long term, uh, it'll be okay. Thank you so much, uh, former astronaut Leroy Chiao, joining us from Houston.